Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a 03 Duramax LB7 engine. So it's kind of funny, I had two Duramaxes come in back to back, and both of them had the same code, a PO380, low plug circuit problem. That's pretty much it. Basically the computer isn't seeing what it needs to see, and it knows that the glow plugs aren't operating properly, so you test it from there. So you can follow the flowchart, uh, and the flowchart basically leads you down a path, which I'm gonna explain to you how to do that, and uh, also gonna talk about uh, what it takes to fix it, what the how, how to do the repair, how to replace glow plugs. So glow plugs are pretty important because in a diesel, there's no there's no uh, spark. It operates on higher compression and heating up the air inside the, 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 the combustion chamber. Or if you have a Cummins, it heats up the air going into the intake manifold. So therefore, that glow plug is really important. And it turns red hot for a quick second, not very long, and heats up the air. And so on this, you gotta, you gotta do the resistance test of the glow plugs, which I'll, I'll talk about. And then also you have problems with the glow plug module. So let's get into it. Let me show you how to do the, how to test these glow plugs and also how to do the repair. All right, here we go. LB7 uh, Duramax. Uh, this one's a 04. Uh, you're gonna get a PO380 glow plug circuit problem. So the first thing that you, now this could be a problem with your glow plugs or your glow plug control module, which is right back there. Now this one has California emissions. So here's the glow plug module. It sits in the truck like this, all right? So these are your control wires here that, that control the glow plug module. And then these are your, the, your connectors that go to your, to your glow plugs. One of the connectors goes to bank one, and then the other one goes to bank two. You have to figure out which one's which. So basically what you wanna do, the first thing you're gonna do is disconnect both of these connectors, and you're gonna ohm test each, each wire, there's four pins in each connector, eight glow plugs total. So you're just gonna just put your, multi, your uh, one lead of your multimeter here, just put a clamp on it, and then use a back probe pin um, so you don't open up the connector. And then you're gonna test each wire, and you're gonna ohm test it, all right? So the glow plugs, the way they work is they thread into the block, and they're connected to the ground, which is here. So when you connect here, you're going to the, to the body of the glow plugs, and then you're testing each individual control wire. Which works in turn like this. So here's where your here's where your ground is connected to, and then here's where the circuit is connected. So it, it powers this, it's grounded here, and it heats up the end. I'll explain how that works. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna check all of your glow plugs and see. So the last LB7 I had, uh, actually the one I did the vacuum pump on, um, that one, all the glow plugs were good. They all ohmed out to close to zero ohms. This one had six bad glow plugs. Uh, some of them were open, some of them had really high resistance. Um, so the, that's the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna ohm test all your glow plugs. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a test light and you're gonna put your test light and you're gonna put your alligator clip to the positive terminal of the battery. Now remember, if you put the positive terminal, your, your, your alligator clip of your test light to positive, then you're checking, when you check with ground, it, it already has power. So when you check with ground, it should light up. So then you're gonna go and you're gonna test each four of these pins in the connector and see if it lights up. And if it lights up bright, okay, great. You should have close to zero resistance and your glow plug should be, your test light should be lit up indicating that your glow plugs are good. Uh, and then after that, you're gonna recommend the glow plugs. Now here's the disclaimer. Every single time I've ever had replaced glow plugs in one of these or come behind someone that did replace glow plugs, it always had a code for the PO380 which ended up being the module in the end. So when you're doing glow plugs, if it's a customer's car, you're gonna to wanna to recommend glow plugs and the module. Same thing in a sprinter. If you ever get a sprinter, five cylinder sprinter, whatever, you're gonna recommend the module with the glow plugs, always. 
Uh, and so in this one here, we're gonna do the glow plugs and the module, and uh, we should be good to go. And that code will set right away uh, when you have that problem. So that's how you test the glow plugs in, in an LB7. Well, that's how you test glow plugs, period. So to get to the glow plugs and replace them, is you're gonna take out the wheel well here. So for the driver's side, you're gonna take out the wheel well, and that's gonna open this up. All right, so on this side, you can see one, two, and you can see the, that one right there. But this steering shaft is in the way. So put a seat belt around your steering wheel to make sure that your steering wheel doesn't turn. 15 millimeter bolt here, take that out. And then this slides up, and then this will drop down out of the way, all right? That's those three. And that one there, I know it looks like it's close to the firewall, but that one will come out. So eight millimeter nuts, 12 millimeter glow plug. All right, then you're gonna come up here and you're just gonna loosen this one, uh, the, the turbo end of the CAC tube on the driver's side, the hot side. And you're just gonna pull it back. You see how I have it pulled back? And then that's gonna give you enough room to come around behind and be able to get the glow plug out. And you have just enough room to reach around there loosen it up and take it out. Passenger side, little different. Passenger side, you're gonna pull off your intake snorkel here. So disconnect it there, disconnect your, your 15 16 down there, pop this up, take this air tube out, all right? Get this thing out of the way. Then you're gonna come here, you're gonna disconnect your mass airflow sensor and grab your whole air box and just yank it out of the way. Then you got a battery tray that's got five 10 millimeters. You're gonna take that out. And then you've got a bracket right there. It's got two 10s that go straight up. I'm trying to show you with my hand here. Two 10s that go straight up like this, one on top of each other. And then you got a 10 millimeter that's sitting here holding the box down, holding your, your coolant bottle to the other end of the bracket. You're gonna take that bracket off and then you're gonna loosen up your, your CAC tube down here and here at the turbo and the intercooler. Then you're gonna pull it off here, pull it off there, and then you're gonna fish it out of the way so you can get to it. You're gonna come down here. This is that wheel well that I told you that you should just have some quick disconnects because you're gonna take it out all the time because there's the fuel filter, water and fuel sensor right there, all right? So you can get to one glow plug, two glow plugs and three glow plugs. But you can't get to the fourth one because it's behind the CAC tube. So do these two, pull your CAC tube out of the way, and then do your other two, put them back together, connect all your connectors, clear your code, and make sure that you're fixed before you go put everything back together because it's possible that you got a bad glow plug because that happens. Sometimes there, there's bad ones. So that's how you do the glow plugs. All right, let me get this thing back together and we'll check it. All right, so to replace this uh, glow plug module here, now this is an 03, I, I said it was an 04, it's an 03. So you're gonna have a 12 millimeter bolt here. You disconnect your batteries. You can leave these connectors connected at first. You're gonna have a B positive cable that comes down on the top of here and it's got a 13 millimeter nut. You're gonna take that nut off and then take the B positive off that's got the big, um, it's got a big uh, a boot on top of it like an alternator. And then you're gonna have a 12 millimeter nut on top of that with a small with a small power cable that comes from here and it's gonna go down and then under. So you're gonna take that nut off and then there's gonna be a washer. And then once you get that off, then break this bolt loose. Don't take this bolt off until you've uh, undone this both of this uh, these cables so that way it holds it in place because it sometimes it's pretty tight. And then once you do that, once you've gotten these two disconnected here, then you can take this bolt out, lift it up, and then you can pop the clips off the connectors and then do it in reverse. Take your new one, connect all the connectors, and then lay it down, get your bolt started, and, uh, and then get your cable started. So that's how you replace the glow plug module. Now, if you wanted to test, if you were trying to pinpoint test and make 100% certain, or just so you understand, that when you, when you get a glow plug, if you wanna make sure that it's bad, you check resistance from the threads to there, to the, to the tip. And that's gonna tell you, because this is the ground from the engine block, 
and then this is where the the glow plug is um, is powered and then that what makes the tip glow red hot to heat up the air that's coming through so you can check all right so here's how you're going to test if you wanted to ohm test your your glow plug this is how you're going to test it you're going to come in from the threads here and then you're going to check it here on the control and you're going to see that this one here has one point 1.5 mega ohms of resistance all right so this glow plug is no good and then now let's test one that is good so you can see what a good one looks like and then here is one right here another glow plug from this truck that has like 0.7 ohms 0.6 ohms so that's how you test it right there so you're going to go from the threads where it goes to the block and then this is where the control wire comes in so that's how you're testing it just like that all right anyways that's how you check a glow plug for resistance but you don't really need to as, unless you suspect that your harness has a problem uh, that's how you test the glow plug and that's how you replace the glow plug module and now as soon as you turn the key on if there's a problem with this thing it'll set a code when it tries to actuate the glow plugs in a little bit newer of a, of a duramax you can look at there's pids in the scan tool that will show you the voltage reading for left side and right side i mean uh for the glow plugs and it will tell you if you have a certain and you can see it like in a flow chart and it'll let you know if you have this much voltage then you have zero glow plugs that are bad if you have this much voltage then you have two glow plugs that are bad and vice versa the last one i had i checked it and all the glow plugs the voltage was correct indicating they had no bad glow plugs and i checked all the glow plugs and they were all they were all good so this one we replaced the module replaced the glow plugs no codes everything was perfect all right let's go all right so there we go so that's how you test the glow plugs that's how you test the, for this problem and that's also how you repair replace the glow plugs and replace the control module so you generally want to do these together because I swear every single time you don't replace the module, it ends up having a code in a five cylinder sprinter. It's the same thing. You replace that glow plug module up in the front and all the glow plugs. It just, just the, all the current that runs through it. It's just a good idea to do it uh, because if you don't and you sell glow plugs, you're going to be turning around and you're going to have to turn around and put the module on. And depending on your shop, depending on you know how you guys do things, you know, you, you may be doing it for free because it may look like a misdiagnosis and so some shops will take care of things like that because they want to make the customer happy and they want them to come back. So to avoid that, sell the module, sell the glow plugs, get it down at one time and therefore, and then there, and then there you go, you got a repeat customer and they're fixed. No comeback, no pissing the boss off, all that good stuff. So I hope this video was informative for you in how to test for this problem it's very common it's very common in diesels period and it's the same test any any diesel that you have you're going to figure out where your glow plug signal comes from and you're just going to ohm it out you're going to check it to the block and provided you don't have a wiring problem then you got bad glow plugs if you have an open reading or high resistance or things like that so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that bell you get notified of all my future content which you're definitely going to want to see also, check me out on Instagram at Nuts and Bolts of the Tone for my daily life as a mechanic. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.